this is creative designer VTK Rani with another step-by-step -step tutorial for expressions craft this is called echo in forest this is our using our new launch light bulb chipboard base the first step is to take the light bulb chipboard this has a shadow base and also a design I take iridescent teal blue metallic paint and I paint it Step 2 is to take metallic stencil paste turquoise blue and using the ginkgo leaf stencil from Expressions Craft which is the 6x6 stencil and using a palette knife I apply the metallic stencil paste over the stencil onto the board like this. See how beautiful it's looking. Now place the stencil again to the next portion of the chipboard base and apply the stencil paste to cover the remaining portion like this. Please remove any excess paste and put them to the jar immediately. Wow, it's looking so beautiful, isn't it? The next step is to take Magic Space Mixed Media Glitter Paste from Amix. It has beautiful glitters and sparkles in a gel form. And the gel will dry completely, revealing a shiny finish. I take a thin brush and apply this Magic Space Glitter Paste all around the light bulb design. Like this. The next step is to take iridescent teal blue uh, metallic paint and apply it all over the shadow base of the chipboard. Once placed on one on top of the other, this is how it's going to look. Now I take dazzling diamond glit glitter paste, mixed media paste, grassy fields, uh, imix green chalk paint, metallic stencil paste green. I'm going to use it on the pen leaf chipboard and I'm going to take fillers leaves 3. I want to emboss it using Lucky Charm Green Embossing Powder. Wow, it's looking so amazing. And look at the shine. I'm loving it. There is some magic in the Amix products. Now I take the resin embellishment, which is a man face, and use a heavy gesso black. So you can see the details so nicely here. We take the metallic stencil paste green and use it as highlights. Oh, it's looking so beautiful and 3D like. Now I take the arrow chippies and intense copper metallic paste. I also take ginkgo leaves and iridescent teal blue. And this is how it looks. See the shimmer and the shine. Absolutely gorgeous. Now let's paste the two uh, bases together. I take dimensional heavy gel. One of the most interesting products ever formulated on planet earth it is so amazing gently apply the gel with a thin brush to the uh, inside portion of the light bulb chipboard base like this and then paste it on the shadow base
I have arranged the chippies, the pen leaf chippies and the filler leaf tree in a circular design and it's looking so amazing. The idea is to create a foliage effect around the main resin embellishment. See how amazing it's looking, isn't it?
Now I take the arrow chippies and I arrange them randomly here and there on the project. main idea of this project is this has a message please save our planet earth and save our forests let's all use recycled products and make mother nature more green See how beautiful it's looking, the shine, the glitter, the arrangement, the composition all goes to make one visually stunning project. It's looking beautiful from every angle, isn't it? Now let's start embellishing the project. We take MX micro beads clear and applying a dimensional heavy gel here and there randomly in the project. I sprinkle the clear beads. I now take Emix Fairy Dust with blue sparkles and I sprinkle it uh, randomly around the focal element because I want it to look magical.
I also take MX fairy dust with green sparkles and repeat the same step. Tada! My project is ready. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial as much as I enjoyed presenting it to you. Please don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel where our fantabulous creative design team will showcase their amazing video tutorials. Just look at the amazing details and the shine of this project. Echo in forest. Till we meet next time, keep smiling and happy crafting. Hey, don't forget to check out the project pics which comes now. Take care, dears. Bye.